Hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and where you have have to do you. So uh, we've already screwed that up, but we're going to carry on, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes. And uh, what I wanted to do is do a review of these lovely floorboards which I've got from a happy chappy called Dean in the Kawasaki Vulcan S group. Yes, I'm plugging the group again because I want to. So, uh, to get these custom made shipped out to me and all that good stuff, uh, I think these came to about £65, which sounds a little bit pricey, but what they give you is a lot more stability in the foot area. There's a rocket free over there. Harley, Harley, rocket free. <laughs> Love it. They just came out of the stadium area. I should know because I was just there. I could talk here but I know these lights usually take forever so I'm just gonna edit this out. So they are a little bit um, not flimsy, they're a bit bendy which is good. It's just uh, when you stand on them, don't stand on the actual uh, floorboard. Obviously, stand on your pegs because that's what they're there for. But um, overall, comfort-wise, yeah, it just gives you a lot more space to put your feet. Gives you more of an area to control the bike, and they're a damn sight more comfortable than trying to like hook your foot over the peg all the time. Because I wear these boots, they've got a little groove between um, the front of your foot and the ball of your foot. So you know, I can hook my foot my boot in there like that and that's great but that leaves all this space here where the, uh, the boot's going to touch the peg and the boot's going to touch the peg of course the boot's going to touch your peg that's what you put your foot on idiot uh, <laughs> where the boot touches the controls or whatever so normally I'd find myself kind of having to fiddle around with foot positions and like where am I going from here and you can see I have to put the back of my boot on there and faff around with the controls and such so it's not ideal but these floorboards make it a lot easier it gives you more of a uh, an area to put your boot on and even if you don't use booties then uh, any sort of decent riding trainer will give you a lot more space a lot more freedom and of course when you're on longer rides as well it's just nice to be able to use all of your foot on something rather than just uh, having to hook your foot over the uh, the little bar that is the peg so if you do find yourself a little bit uncomfortable peg-wise, then I do recommend these floorboards. I'm not sure if Dean's actually going to do any more, but um, I remember him saying once or twice he was uh, planning on doing another batch of them and such, because he does them in batches. We Laser cut the, uh, the actual floorboard out, get some rubber made for them and such, and you know, it's a bang-up job to be honest. So additional comfort, a little bit more stability for your feet as well. Yeah, it just gives you more space to play around with really. So once again, Dean, absolutely cracking job. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the only thing I can say about these is they do add a little bit of um, mass on the side of the bike. So what you do find is if you like to go around corners quite sharply, then every now and then you, you might be scraping a peg typically more than what you normally would do. And uh, by scraping the peg, usually it's the side of the floorboard, so uh, just be careful of those. Ah, another lovely little British town around my area. Go on, my son. Uh, this little pub here, there's a little place around the back where they do open mic nights. And uh, I've been there a few times and it's a lovely little atmosphere. It's very sort of hippie, sort of dark yet colourful. It's very imaginative. And they've usually got like incense and whatever burning as well. So it's very calming for anyone that's new to the whole open mic night thing. It's a very relaxed environment and they're very welcoming as well. Or at least they were when I went a few years back. Not sure if they still are, but I'm sure they are. And uh, 
I love the idea is they're, 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 they're words. <laughs> I got them, you need them. I love the idea of going out to open mic nights and just supporting local artists, even if like they treat their artistry like I do with my content for YouTube. Like um, they don't care if they make money off it, they're just happy enough to put a smile on people's faces. And uh, yeah, wish there was more people like that in the world who just do things for smiles and just to help people out. But I would admit, every now and then when you do a nice video and such, or you write a nice song, it's nice to get a bit of like um, gratification for it. It's nice to have some thank yous thrown your way. And it's not an ego thing, it's just... It's... Oh dear. It's hard to explain without me sounding like a dick, but... <laughs> but um, the easiest way I can put it is when you go out of your way to do stuff and you do it out of the sake of just doing it it's a hobby it's something that you do you know everything costs money these days as you can imagine so to have someone a random person a regular that comes back to the channel and they just say something like oh i learned something or uh thank you or something like that or one thing which one lad put up recently was do you know where you're going i don't think so he mentioned something about the pictures which I take of the motorcycle and typically you know I don't like having the pictures where the camera's facing me and I'm trying to take an action shot or something like that I just like to bike park the bike <laughs> I just like to park the bike somewhere and have a subject for taking the picture i.e. the bike is the subject where is the bike it's in a field it's over here it's in front of something there's there's scenery to it there's you know, there's this... Oh my gosh. Oh my giddy aunt, you are low, sir. Screw you, I am chasing that plane. I'm sorry, I'm going to go off subject here. There you go, scrape the peg. <laughs> Floorboard, rather. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, don't be like this. That. Oh. You are not keeping me behind you. No chance. I'm sorry, I've got I gotta get this plane as it comes over the bridge. You absolute monster! <laughs> yes! That is quality content. I can't even remember the name of the bloody thing, but that is my favourite airplane. This is my favourite bike, that's my favourite airplane. My god, that is... Oh, it's way over there now. Absolute beauty. I'm in awe. I am in awe of that plane. And I envy that pilot as well. So there must be like, um, I mean obviously there's an event going on, otherwise the plane wouldn't be flying around, but yeah. Wow. You see, I want to motor vlog, but I can't. <laughs> That was far too epic and I'm now far too excited to make any sense. Oh dear. It's just an aeroplane. No, that is a uh, that is a marvel of history, that is. That vehicle, that aeroplane has served this country well. Back during the World Wars and such, so I'm I'm massively into my history. Not so much that I can tell you like random facts off the top of my head, but I, I have a deep appreciation for history and things that have happened. And if we don't learn from the things that have happened in history, oh my god, I'm riding a bit aggressive today, aren't I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, if we don't learn from the things that have happened in history, then we are doomed to repeat them. In some cases, that can't be helped. So yeah, Dean, good job on these floorboards, by the way, mate. <laughs> oh, that's, that's basically what I wanted to get to. Oh, it's... <laughs> ah, Red's a happy lad today. Got to see motorcycles. Got to go for a ride. Appreciate Jelly Bean again. And we got to see the beautiful Lancaster Bomber. I remembered the name. I finally remembered the bloody name. <laughs> 